We don't need any more heat on us. We He's don't need more heat. I, <laughs> I'm not a witch. He's I mean, a I've man witch. Dabbled in a bit of Wicca. To understand the food of our present, we must first understand the food of our past. That's why we're recreating some of the most notable meals throughout our history, and today we're getting absolutely witchy with it. Ooh, are we gonna play light as feathers, stiff as a board with Neve Campbell? No, I'm a big fight ruse of Balt guy. We are recreating oh. food from the Salem Witch Trials. <gasps> it's time for Meals of History! Emily, we're going back to truly one of the darkest, weirdest times in history that is actually still somewhat unexplained to this day what exactly caused the mass hysteria. Yeah. We're talking 1692, Salem, Massachusetts. This is in the Massachusetts Bay. You had a pretty small insular Puritan town that had grown bigger and bigger. People had gotten to know their neighbors a little bit more and mm -hmm. decided that they would start outing them as witches, supposedly. So it all started with two nine-year-old girls who went into convulsions and then nobody knows to this day what caused a convulsion but there's a large prevailing theory that it was tainted rye bread. So we're definitely gonna gotta make some rye bread. They think it was tainted with ergotism, which is a form of bacteria that has psychotropic properties, but it is a bit unproven, but I don't know. I like to believe in that. I pretty much specifically just drink rye whiskey. Same, that explains why we're not exactly, I think um, you know. I'm definitely bewitched. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy is these two nine-year-old girls start convulsing. They bring in a doctor and he just goes like, <laughs> seems like a bewitchment to me. And that is the spark that conflagrated the entire Salem Witch Trials. Uh, 25 women dead, beheaded, hanged, really messed up. And in the backdrop of all this is you are living an incredibly hard colonial life yes. with puritanical, crazy theocratic rule. And so food was often scarce, hard to come by, but there were things that they made work, including rye bread. Bonnets. And bonnets, a lot of bonnets. So. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna try and eat some of the foods that they would have been eating during the Salem Witch Trials, not like as a spectator thing, just yeah. as like a way to show the history I mean, that would have been I mean, I kind of would think that they probably have a snack while they're watching, maybe. Tossing back popcorn. Yeah, yeah, just like some oral fixation to deal with the anxiety. That makes sense. So. Annalise, did you get me a bonnet? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna go put in that bonnet and talk oh, about a real depressing time in history? I'm gonna bonnet so hard. Bonnet hard, bro. <laughs> Ooh, shoot, that was embarrassing. She's a witch! <laughs> oh. Hello, sir. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to talk to him. Yeah, yeah. listen, I, I know that was a product of the times, 1690s, but me, I'm kind of like a modern person who like, you know, our, our show passes the Bechdel. Oh, don't say you're modern no, here. No, 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 not to, I know, I know they're watching, but I'm saying you can like be cool with me. I'm not gonna out you, I'm not gonna, who I know are things you? are. <laughs> My name's Josh, I'm a cook. I'm trying to make some bread. Oh, you're just cooking? I'm just cooking, yeah. Oh, cooking's a great place to, to gossip. Like, yeah, yes, oh, okay, cool. okay. So I, I gotta ask, I guess, are you, do you identify as a, a witch? Shh, 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 sorry, jeez, rice. No, don't say that out loud. Then they'll go, uh, they hear it. It's like the word right now. Everybody hears that word and then they're like, uh. anyway, All right. no, I was accused, but then I, I, got, I got out of there. You just escaped, you made a run for it? No, 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 I just, um. I did a few things. <laughs> hey, listen, we all I did, did a few it. favors. Do you know about this tainted rye situation? Oh boy. Like, have you been in any, any fits lately? Any sort of like, are you barking like a dog or listen, convulsing? Listen. I love the tainted rye. <laughs> <laughs> they think because you want to like get a little hmm on the rye that you're a witch. But the, I think the, the real thing that they think, because I go out with my girlfriend. Yeah. My friends, it's like a Friday night. I feel that. So we get the rye, and then we go out to the woods, and we get naked because it's the only place we get don't get judged for our bodies. So you go. That's why we're naked out there, not because we're worshiping the devil. It's just you know I want to feel good. The rye thing. It's not necessarily like verified by history. There's a lot of things that don't add up. Like if the thing was poisoned, then more men would have like you know acted crazy. But maybe the guys just got away with a lot of things. They can do whatever, right? They don't like to have fun like us. That's fair. All right, so let's start with this bread. So this is what's called thirded bread. So this means that it's one third rye flour, one third wheat flour, one third what they anachronistically called Indian flour. You said three three times, <laughs> and then if you doubled three, don't it's no a six. don't double three to six. No, we don't need any more heat on us. We He's don't need more heat. I <laughs> I'm not a witch. He's I mean, a I've man witch. Dabbled in a bit of Wicca, but I I read I read I do some tarot I readings. Just so, that together. so we're adding cornmeal in here. So this is basically because, like I mentioned, times were tough 
for y'all. Like growing food is incredibly difficult. It took a long time to be able to cultivate wheat in a new soil environment people weren't used to. So rye was a little bit easier to cultivate and then corn is native to the Americas. So they would cut the bread with that and add a little bit of salt to that. I'm the, the, the town spinster. <laughs> so they gave me, I've never been married. I don't really want to be. Just adding some yeast and water. And so my job as the spinster is I have to handle, handle the manure. Oh, okay. So but you have to have that to have fertilization with crops. You do. You just gather all the animals. Also as a spinster, you were a target for witch accusations. That yes. was the big thing. Like the first two women accused of witchcraft, well, two of the first three. The single one, they think that we want all your husbands. We don't yeah. want your husbands. And that was, I mean, the, listen, there was a lot. I just wanna get high and go in the woods and be <laughs> naked. It's Who like really all I wanna do. Who doesn't, man? That's a universal human want. I also like puppets. I have a little uh, theater troupe with my friends. Is it? This is real? Like, is it a real thing people did? They're no, I'm really just winging it. Oh, you're so fair, fair, fair. I didn't yeah. know, man. Sometimes we just go places and we don't know if it's going to work. Like when I tried to explain what uh, forensics was. Yeah. yeah which yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah. excited I can do that now because <laughs> I'm clearly I'm doing a forensics bit because of the crucible. So basically, it's a public speaking. But anytime there's crazy mass hysteria, right? Crucible is obviously a, a, a reference to McCarthyism at the time. Yes. It's just like there's crisis going on. People freak the hell out, look for someone to blame. And so yep. the crisis at this time in the colonies was just like everything. Like there are a ton of wars with indigenous tribes. You had King Philip's war going on. You had like a French uh, war with the Native Americans mm -hmm. that was bearing down on the colonies. Babies were just dying constantly due to malnutrition because yeah. if one crop failed, they were just screwed. And so literally, it was just like, well, let's panic and freak out. And then of course, uh, it tends to be vulnerable women who are the ire of just that. blame women. Yeah. Blame women that are like old. Yeah, it was that. Single. Uh, the first person to be blamed as a witch was a, a slave named Tichba. Oh, no. Actually, and so yeah, so they were just, I mean, two little girls, uh, and again, you combine that with just like crazy puritanical ideology. Yeah, that'll do it. You know, a bunch of weirdo dudes in charge, mm -mm. and boom, jails were flooded with hundreds of people accused of witchcraft. You know, as as a <laughs> adult lady w with ADHD, um, <laughs> you would have been. I would not have had the access to the medication that I'm on currently, <laughs> which I think that everyone can agree is barely doing the trick. All right, so we have our thirded bread. We're gonna let it rest. This bread was typically baked in a Dutch oven that you'd like cover in coals. You'd put it over a fire. They didn't have modern ovens back then. Uh, so we're just gonna let it proof right in this Dutch oven. And then, God, this is dense. Am I the only one that laughs every time you hear Dutch oven? Uh, prudence. I'm gonna call you Prudence. It's actually, yes, I'll, I'll take that. If I argue with a the man, then it's, it's pretty <laughs> You're a witch. Me. Then you're a witch. So we are making cod chowder right now. Cod was a huge, huge industry in the Massachusetts Bay Colony, and chowder actually dates back to like the 1500s in France. And so it was a big thing that they'd make. It'd feed a lot of people. Um, I don't know the exact recipe though, but I understand you have a poem about chowder that was actually published in a newspaper? It is, and I brought the spell, I mean, oh, uh, no, the, the poem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, okay, you read to me, I'll follow you. <clears throat> First, lay some onions. I just realized I'm a woman reading, and I don't know <laughs> She's a witch. <laughs> I might Woo! get something for that, but you, you, won't, you won't tell. You no, won't. it's on camera. You don't know what the heck that is. It's a okay. camera. All right. <clears throat> First, lay some onions right. to keep the pork from burning. Because in chowder, there can be not turning. This is a banger. Then lay some pork. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm still on the onions. I'm still on the onions. Thin. I'm still on the onions. Stop conjuring. I'm still on the onions. Okay. Okay, okay. Lay some onions. We're laying some onions down. It's gonna prevent the pork from burning. Wait, so now I need to slice, you see the salt pork? Very thin. All right, I got it. Thus you in chowder always must begin. <laughs> this is really written witchily, I don't like this. Next, lay some fish. Cut, do you want me to wait for Yeah, yeah, wait, just you? here, let me get the, I swear, one more and you're going right in the stockade. Okay, good. Next, lay some fish. Cut crossways, very nice. I don't know what crossways necessarily means, but I'm a slice of fish. It's the thing Jesus died on. <laughs> then season well with okay. pepper, salt, and spice. Pepper, salt, and spice. I like the bones of this recipe. Hold on, hold on, we got mm. some pepper. We got some pepper going in. I'm gonna get some salt. There we go. Okay, what's next? Parsley. Parsley. Chop in a little okay, bit. Okay, there's more. Sweet marjoram. 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 <laughs> Mar marjoram. 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 We got marjoram. We got marjoram. That's okay. how you know. We got the parsley. We got the marjoram. Savory and thyme. Savory. Okay, okay. We'll get a little savory in there. Underutilized herbs. Savory is fun. Use that. I think it's in herbs de Provence. I just thought it was an adjective. Biscuit next, which it must be soaked sometime. 
Does that mean it's a witch? No, no, no. It's if you sink. Oh, if you sink, you're a witch. Okay, and then they okay, killed okay. you anyway. And then it's like, oh, it's, a, it's yeah. like a twofer. It was really never going to work. All right, we're going to soak the biscuits. These will soak in the water in the soup. Thus your foundation laid. You will be able to raise a chowder high as Tower of Babel. Ooh, I like that part. For by repeating o'er the same again, you, I just turned Irish. What is that? <laughs> what about repeat to go the same again? Same again? The you may make a chowder. The All right, so I'm going to repeat make the Make a chowder for a thousand men. There weren't even a thousand men in Salem. No, okay, so this is interesting. Population of Salem, about 1,400 at the time, 200 accused. One in seven accused of being a witch. That's too, that's, that's too, that's too Also, much. like, potentially 30% of them, up to 30% of them were men. Salem is two parts. There's Salem yeah. Village, and then Salem, like, the port. It's a town. It's like yeah, a port yeah. town. All the rich people were in the port town, uh, and they were almost exclusively the ones accused by the poor. Really? there was a lot of wealth disparity. Interesting, interesting. So they decided to accuse the wealthy of, like, why they were having such a hard I time. I mean, hey, smart. This is a lot of friggin' chowder. I've got more of this to read. Oh, my God. What's the next? Okay, what's the next step? I'm, I'm basically there. Okay. Last a bottle of claret. <laughs> Clary? Claret. Claret. Claret is a, I believe, a British term for a Bordeaux wine. Oh. Yeah, which Puritans probably weren't drinking a lot of, but you get the rich people in, like, the port of Salem, you know, they were just getting messed sure. up. Which I've decided that Prudence is from the port. <laughs> like, I'm not married, I just am, like, independently wealthy. Play the character you want to see in yourself. You yep, know? that's true. So this is a red wine, fish, pork, and onion chowder thickened with biscuits that definitely were not Pillsbury grams. I am gonna kill grams. this fly. Kill it with your witch powers, Prudence. Hey! Get the fly with your witch powers. You were saying something earlier about how in the trials they were like using ghosts as witnesses. Oh man, listen, we're, hold on. We gotta cover this with water. We're gonna get this chowder cooking. Also, we're about to get into spectral evidence With next. water, Eno, in like Brian Eno. <laughs> I think it's like enough, but you like, with water enough. 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 Um, how like sensual. To smother him, you'll have a mess, which some call omnium gatherum. Did you write this? No, this is from an actual newspaper in like 1720. So you know, we're fast I like how it bit, all sounds like very like flowery and then it's like gatherum. Omnium gatherum. <laughs> I mean, it sounds really witchy. Well, Wingardio Oliviosa. That's on there. <laughs> a lot of kids in my puritanical Christian hometown weren't allowed to read Harry Potter. They banned yeah, it from I'm public from school library. And y'all yeah. are real fussy about that. Like, I mean, we got this like big old wine, bread and fish slop. Mm -hmm. Gotta let that cook for, I guess, like probably four to 12 hours. That is interesting that I could read The Crucible growing up. I'm sure that people still read it in school, but you can't read Harry Potter in the schools. Stop banning books, you weirdos. That's about literal witch stuff. Hey, Prudence, you a big fan of podcasts? I like bees that are in pods. Great answer. Well, we have a podcast called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. New episode is out now. It's called Is a Hot Pocket a Dumpling? <gasps> and this is a very special episode because it's the first featuring your calls that you called in to 833-DOGPOD1, our new hotline. Uh, it's actually really fantastic. Check it out and keep calling that hotline. It's not a sex line, but me and Nicole make it sound like it is. I have a fun thing about dogs. What's that? They killed two dogs for being witches. Oh, of course the they Salem did. They also jailed trials. a four-year-old for a year. All right, real quick, let's cook. We have beans here. Baked beans were obviously a big thing in Massachusetts. Boston obviously. baked beans. Boston baked beans, it's a thing. Oh. I didn't put that together. Nah, it's the capital of Massachusetts. God. I'm more of a Bush's baked beans because of that golden retriever. <laughs> yeah, he's sexy. Who but knows all the secrets? I like the old guy. Um, but Boston baked beans were actually a thing because one, beans were somewhat popular in England, but came to America, America, the three sister crops are beans, corn, and squash. And so the indigenous people actually taught colonists how to make beans. They would dig what they called a bean hole, fill it with like embers, toss beans in there. And so the colonists would use things like salt pork and molasses to flavor them. So put the beans in this little pot, put the okay. salt pork in it, get the molasses in there. I'm gonna start cooking red flannel hash. So. Most of the colonists, the Puritans especially, they were from England, so they were used to a lot of hella British foods. So they came over with things like, you know, a, a boiled dinner, which was probably like salt beef. We got corned beef right here. What are we boiling this in? Oh my gosh, you're right. Can you fetch me some water from the well? Thank you, my bad, my bad, I forgot. What? No, don't, you're gonna out yourself. Oh, we don't know where that broom's been. You're gonna get a UTI. I'm back! I'm so that fast. is an anachronistic broom. Hang on, I gotta park it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Carrot Top, you can chill with the prop comedy. <laughs> that was a great bit that was completely improvised and not planned at all. <laughs> 
One of the reasons Puritans love baked beans is because it was very, holy shnikes, that's hot. So beans you could make, say, on a Saturday night and then the Sabbath rolls around. You're not allowed to cook because it's a sin. You can behead people for no reason, but you can't cook on a Sunday. God forbid. You still can't buy liquor on Sundays in a lot of the South. I immediately got Southern when I said that. Am I dumping the whole thing of molasses? Yeah, dumping the whole thing of molasses. I mean, literally molasses was one of the main flavors of things back then because it was unrefined sugar, it was cheaper and all that. And so they were just dumping that and everything. And so they would have leftovers of a boiled dinner and they would turn that into a hash. This is a specific hash that dates back hundreds of years called red flannel hash. And it's called red flannel hash because they got beets in it. Beets are a big winter crop, which was important because like it was snowy and miserable and they're all pissed off. And that's why they were out in people as witches because they were just like, ah, I just want to be heard. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Yeah. So we're just gonna dice up all of our veg here. Did nice I do all that right? Yeah, that looks great, dude. Just put that... stir it or anything? Yeah, no, man. You just put that in the oven and then it's just gonna cook. And that's, I mean, the earliest recipes for baked beans were literally like three ingredients. So I don't need to stir up the molasses or nothing. You just leave it right in the middle? You wanna stir it up? You wanna stir it up with your hands? No. I mean, I was really distracted for a moment because I was trying to think of what is molasses. So molasses is literally, you take sugar cane and then you uh, like juice it and boil it down. And so if you were to take molasses and like boil it down until it becomes like a caramel and then you make it hard and you evaporate all the water out of it, then you pulse it and that becomes like sugar. So that becomes like a brown sugar, like a demerara. I immediately regret asking this question. <laughs> There's a lot of people who say that like the people who were like, you know, cursed or bewitched or yeah, whatever, yeah. like did they really have the rye thing or were yeah. they just like faking it and really committing to it? It's a big question. I have a feeling it, it could be both. I feel like a lot of things in history, the Salem Witch Trials started out with like one nugget of truth. Mm -hmm. Someone either had, I know there's another theory that it was encephalitis and it was literally just a brain disease. Ooh. That was like, that caused people to go into fits. I had a feeling it was just that, and then it was like, all right, we're pissed off, we're trying to sue people, we're trying to piss off our neighbors, we're trying to assert puritanical control. Now let's start the lion. Yeah. Also, we never like... talked about spectral evidence. Oh, okay. So spectral evidence, you... What is that? I didn't mean to touch my private. So Hang just, on, like, I'll get logo. you something. Do you need a I... towel? Yeah, yeah, give me a towel. All right, so we got this hash going. We're just gonna let this cook down. Spectral evidence was one of the most common ways to convict people. I mentioned the witches. There's a lot more cumbersome. There was that. They, they did a fucking... thing where they float. Whoops, they sorry. tried to make them sink or float, and then he's going around. But spectral evidence was literally just like, yeah, yo, know, I had a dream that she's a witch, and so like, oh, there the devil visited me in the dreams. Uh, ergo, boom, she's a witch. And then eventually a governor was like, hey, no more spectral evidence. And they were like, well, it's the easiest way to convict people. By the way, there's a ghost in the room right now. Ergo, she's a witch. So that's how a lot of people were. What's going on? People were probably hysterical and having yeah. like big fits because they were like, ah! <laughs> it's the olden times. <laughs> like, I hate uh, it. <laughs> it. Sucks. There's no Uber. <laughs> I gotta drive a horse. Yeah, I don't have my yeah. doll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have sucked. All my children died. <laughs> All my children are dead. They're thinking you're just gonna act normal I, all through no, that I time that. period. It's just like life's hard. Let's get it. Let's raise ruckus. Yeah. You know what true. I mean? Our food is done. We gotta get to eat dinner. Do I put this in something? You never put that in the oven, huh? Well. I don't know, I thought you put it, because that's how you cook things. Oh. We're gonna put the beans in the oven, and then we're gonna wait four hours, and we're gonna eat. Okay. Oh, oh, you're not even gonna let me do it? No. Fine. Tainted witch hands. Oh! <laughs> Let's eat. Prudence, you've escaped the gallows once, which I'm incredibly happy for. Uh, I hope you can do it again. But hey, even if you can't, we got a beautiful Last Supper here. Oh, yes. Well, the trick to surviving if somebody accuses you is just to confess. <laughs> did, that, did that work? Yes, most of the time. Like, it actually, was, though? Yeah, it was mainly people who wouldn't confess, and then uh... they'd kill them, including this one man. Everything was hanging except for this one man who was pressed to death. <laughs> <laughs> Between two rocks. Give me your plate. I'm just gonna oh, you have some beans. Thank you so much. Have some much. good old authentic Boston baked beans in here. Have Ooh. some of that party bread that you love so much. Ooh. It is dense. This is a hefty, dense loaf. It smells really nice, though. Yeah, eat your heart out, Cheesecake yeah, yeah. Factory. Um, all right, let's dig into the chowder first. So okay. this looks horrifying. It's kind of a grayish purple. But again, we were following an actual recipe that was published in a newspaper, albeit as a weird poem. And there's a whole bottle of red wine with all the fish. I think it smells pretty good. It smells pretty good. The texture's a little bit horrifying because of the biscuits well, that were thickening like... it. Oh, jiggle, yeah. watch it jiggle. All right. Mmm. There's a biscuit chunk in here? The purple fish 
is a little weird. <laughs> you can kind of see. That's fish. They were just eating anything back then, though. You know what I mean? I can't tell if this is fish or biscuit. I think it's probably biscuit. Try it. Eat it. All right. If it kind of makes you want to throw up because it's just like gelatinous and squishy, that's a biscuit. Mm, no, I love it. <laughs> you're in. You're in. Listen, it's like a chicken and dumpling situation, which I've had on the brain a lot lately. It is. It's not bad. Like, I would eat this whole bowl. I can't believe that you don't like this. this I don't know. It seems the, like totally up your alley. The red wine's giving me kind of vomit vibes. Don't Maybe say that. Maybe it's somebody who's thrown up a whole bottle of red wine at a tailgate. Oh, Go Bruins! Josh, um, <laughs> I was having a good time. I like the salt pork. I mean, again, if you're feeding an army, high as the Tower of Babel, whatever the poem said, mm -hmm. I get why this is a big colonial dish. It's warming. Yes. Let's try the beans. Let's try beans. the beans. Okay. This is classic Americana, yes. indigenous techniques, simple ingredients. Better pizza, Papa John's. I taste that molasses real hard. A lot of molasses in there, huh? I like this better. Eat some, <laughs> eat some of the salt pork. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. No, salt pork's too tough. Too tough? Salt pork's too tough. Hang on, I want it. Come here, dude. If I were to make, like, it, it got nothing on bushes. It got nothing on bushes. No. Let's say that. When bushes figured out, well, not a sponsor, they were once Chili Magic. Y'all remember Chili Magic? <laughs> that was rad. I would make additions to this, but again, times were tough. People were pissed off. That's why they were accusing women, not to not to keep you know, not to give them out. But I'm saying uh, a lot of people were just starving and it was cold. So like, bah, here we are. But yeah, I think molasses is like very overpowering, kind of. Yeah, well, if you don't like molasses, try this brown molasses bread. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, it is so. It's dense. Well, dense. because like rye flour doesn't have the type of like gluten that wheat flour does, so it's already gonna be denser. <laughs> the mark of the three beans. She's a witch. I like this gravy. I like anything that's got a little bit of wine in it. I'm in on this LSD bread, dude. Yeah. I know, let's go to a dead. Let's go to a dead show. Mm-hmm. Dance in the parking lot. It's kind of almost cakey. It is. That's the cornmeal because cornmeal doesn't actually like rise right, so it doesn't give you that glutinous chew. It's gonna yeah. keep it dense. But it's good. And I now, love it. On a little morning after breakfast, the red flannel hash looks lovely. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna scoop some on the plate with the beans. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know how to do you this. Went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the witch trials was that like the beginning of satanic panic? Mm, no. So Salem witch trials kind of had a, a legacy in Europe, through Western Europe, in like the 1300s. They were doing witch burnings. Yeah. And so, like the food culture is imported from Europe. They're like, let's bring all that stuff over here. Yeah, we moved here for we're religious not freedom. We're not going to anything out. We're just going to bring it all over. We moved yeah. for religious freedom. Let's burn some people. <laughs> Oh, I'm more hanging and then pressing one guy between stones, but who's counting? I know, very creative. Oh. What's that? Thank you. I don't know. Oh. Oh. I have jury duty. Oh, what's the trial for, you think? Oh, it's, um, it's witchcraft. It's witchcraft. I thought it was tax fraud. It's witchcraft. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna, I have to be on a jury. Yeah. That's weird, because I've been on trial. <laughs> So Listen, why at this would you point, put me in the jury? I'm gonna be kind of biased, don't you at, think? At this point, they just need bodies in there. I have a feeling it's gonna be a quick decision. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's Rebecca. Oh. So she won't be at the the woods thing yeah. tonight. Yeah, well, if you need an extra body, I'm down. That's too bad. Well, I better get over there. All right. I love Rebecca. <laughs> She's gonna be I so really happy hope to they don't you. kill my friend. Well. Yeah, probably don't fly to the jury in the broom. Probably leave the broom. <laughs> That's a probably leave the broom. Very good point. Probably leave the broom? Well, here's what I'll do. I'll take her halfway. Yeah, smart, smart, smart. Then I'll Ditch park in the woods, yeah. Yeah, just throw that's in the woods, do. and yeah, then I'll walk smart. the rest of the way. That's smart, that's smart. I'm like, oh my god, I walked so much. Because <laughs> then you can go be naked in the woods, and you'll find the broom, and be like, ugh. Listen, naked in the woods with the broom? <laughs> it's, you gotta try it. Use your imagination. All right, well, toodles. Um, <laughs> I really like talking with you. I do too. I hope I see you again. Yes, I think you will. But I don't feel like we're going to accuse each other. No, I certainly would never do that. No, I'm not going to do it. Why, I, I would have no reason to accuse you. I agree. You would have no reason to accuse me. Mm. Why would we do it? All right, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> Rebecca, I'm coming. So she's definitely a witch, right? Oh, no. Like getting naked in the woods. That's not normal. Bye. That's not normal. Oh, sorry. See ya. See ya. Well. Thank you so much for stopping by Mythical Kitchen. Big thanks to Prudence. Uh, we're probably not gonna be seeing her too much soon. Uh, hey, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed to the channel, tell a friend about Mythical Kitchen. Send them this video completely out of context. And they'll be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Is this what you do all day? You just watch garbage like this? And you'll be like, yeah. And then we'll at least get one more view because they clicked on it. See y'all next time. <laughs> the Mythical Kitchen's favorite way to obliterate garlic immortalized in t-shirt form. Get the Palm Hill Strike T now at mythical.com.